What's up, everyone? Joe Metz of Fantasy Forecast back again to bring you the second edition of our Fangraphs Advanced Statistics Breakdown. We went over hitters in the first one. We're going to do pitchers today. And the third and final segment I'm hoping to do is going to be just on basic team stat research. So again, doing pitchers today, going to give you my top five stats that I use when I break down pitchers for my MLB DFS rosters. Again, this is not the five best. This is not the only five I look at. They are just my five personal favorites that I found the most success and use out of. So to do that, going to go to Fangrass like last time, search Chris Sale, arguably the most dominant pitcher in the league right now. His dominance has been driven by his um, ridiculous ability to strike batters out this year. And that's exactly where we're going to start for the first advanced stat strikeout rate. Before we look at strikeout rate, let's get rid of the minor league stats and these stupid advertisements and go to town. So strikeout rate is going to be in the advanced table under K percentage. Find it right here. This ad got in my way. Now, strikeout rate is essentially what it sounds like. It's the percentage of batters face that a pitcher strikes out. When you're looking at this, 20% is, is I'd say, the league average. Um, Anything north of 20% is a pitcher that could, um, if you're going strictly off a of strikeout rate, is a viable spend in DFS. Below that is a pitcher you want to target against because they give up a lot of contact. You flirt with 25% and you you start to get a very impressive number. And then anything from, I'd say, 27 to 30 plus is absolutely dominant and elite. Not many pitchers have that. As you can see, Chris Sale has been flat out dominant his entire career, but his 36.7% mark this season is ridiculous and unheard of, and it, it might be a little unsustainable, but ride him while he's hot. The reason I weight this stat heavier than any others is because in FanDuel and DraftKings, strikeouts garner you the most points out of a pitcher. FanDuel, is, at least, you get four points per strikeout, so why not maximize that upside and get a pitcher who strikes out the most batters? That will, in turn, as you can see, hand-in-hand, hand, rides with K per nine as high. Excuse me. The higher this gets, the higher that gets. He's striking out 36.7% of batters this season. That in turn is leading to a 12.45 K per nine rate, a career high. My second advanced stat that I look at is Sierra, which is down here on the batted ball table, third from the right. Sierra is stands for Skill Interactive ERA, and it really takes into account ground ball percentage, walk rate, and strikeout rate. And it's also void of park factors, luck, and defense. Um, it goes a little farther than ERA does. You can A pitcher can give up three uh, flyouts to the warning track and still have a, a zero ERA through one inning, where that is a lot different in Sierra, where you would not necessarily have a zero Sierra. You could lower that Sierra, say he gives up three routine ground outs to shortstop rather than three outs to the warning track, he's going to have a lower Sierra if he gets the ground outs because he's mixing and matching his pitches better, inducing weaker contact, etc. Again, it's skill interactive. It takes into account the raw skill of this pitcher, devoid of, or void, excuse me, of everything else. Again, the lower the better. Sub three is considered elite. So as you can see, Chris Sale has been extremely impressive throughout his career. A couple blips on the radar, but these numbers are still not bad. We get between 3.00 and 3.25 and we're still looking at an above average pitcher and then it just goes down the scale from there so again another stat that i weight rather heavily two more that are on this table that i use pretty often are ground ball percentage over here on the left and hard contact percentage over here on the right go back to ground ball percentage i usually uh, look for a number around 50 percent and again it's, it's pretty self-explanatory it's just the percentage of ground balls hit against a pitcher. 38.5% is pretty low for Chris Sale given his career track record, but then you got to think his strikeout percentage is rather high. So if he's striking out 36% of batters, he's not going to be um, inducing as many ground outs, excuse me. Now, ground ball percentage to me is important because the, the higher the ground ball percentage, the lower chance a player is um, allowing home runs, allowing extra base hits in the gap, etc. Again, induced ground balls, easy, efficient outs. On the flip side, hard contact, you want a lower number. Hard contact is um, takes into account exit velocity, home runs, um, the angle of the ball, the launch angle, stuff like that. You usually want around a 30% or below mark 
for a pitcher to be considered a pretty elite pitcher when it comes to preventing hard contact. And Chris Sale has made a name for himself in that regard as well. Once you flirt with about like 34 and 35% and above, that's that's flirting with disaster. More home runs allowed, more extra base hits allowed, something you tend to want to stay away from in a pitcher and tend to target when you're looking at batters. The fifth and final stat that I look at when um, when rostering pitchers in MLB DFS is the swing strike rate, and that's down a good number of tables. It's going to be in the plate discipline table right here. It's this last column on the right, and swing strike rate stands for the percentage of batters, or percentage of strikes, excuse me, that a batter swung at and missed um, on the season. So you see Chris Sale is inducing at least a 10% swinging strike rate every single season. A 10% swinging strike rate is extremely impressive. That's like my baseline number I look at when I'm rostering a pitcher. You flirt with this 16.1% right here this season, and that's borderline, not borderline, that's downright elite and absurd. That number is arguably unsustainable. Pitcher or batters cannot hit this man's stuff. They just can't. He's pitching lights out. His command is lights out. His velocity is still there. He's out of control right now. Well, in control if you're talking about pitching, but he's playing out of control right now. It's insane. Again, the higher the better with this. It's very rare you see any pitcher flirt with this 16%. That's why I usually look at 10 or 11% as a, as a pretty elite number. You see a pitcher with, say, a 5% swinging strike rate, and that's pretty alarming. Shows he's not missing bats and that batters are able to get a hold of his pitches and see them through the zone. You can you can use this and go off of O swing percentage, O contact percentage, Z contact percentage, and kind of put them all together for a very good picture of the of what kind of stuff this pitcher is bringing to the table at the time as well. O swing percentage is the number of pitches outside of the zone batters are swinging at. O contact is the pitches percentage of pitches outside the zone batters are making contact with, and Z contact is the pitches in the zone. Again, he's so 75% career best right here, 53% almost a career best, 33.5% right in line with his career numbers. Chris Sale's elite. He is um, it's going to be he, he Kershaw is still the Kershaw. He's still considered the best pitcher in baseball, but when it comes to fantasy uh, this season, Chris Sale's the man. So again, those stats were strikeout rate, Sierra ground ball percentage, hard contact percentage, and swing strike rate. I'll put those all in the description so you guys don't forget them with some definitions. Again, I hope this video helps a lot. And if you haven't checked out uh, fantasy, fantasy-forecast.com, I strongly recommend doing so. Follow my personal Twitter at jmets34. Follow at fanforecast on Twitter. And keep updated on our YouTube page as well. Subscribe to us. We're going to be trying to pump out videos. And the next segment coming again is going to be how to break down collective team stats when looking at DFS. Thanks, guys.